Google's helpful Drive for Desktop is new in July of 2021. I'm Huey Poplock. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and to ask for notifications when we post new videos. Earlier this year, Google announced that they were working towards unifying backup and sync and drive files stream into a single sync client called Drive for Desktop. By doing this, they are creating a powerful and unified sync client with the best and most used features from both backup and sync and drive file system. These are words from Google. Google Workspace customers with backup and sync users would need to transition these users to drive for desktop. Here's the timeline for this transition. It started July 19th. Backup and sync will support a guided flow to help users transition onto drive for desktop. Starting August 18th, any user still on backup and sync will start to receive in-product notifications, prompting them to transition to Drive for Desktop. Starting October 1st, any users still on Backup and Sync after that point will no longer be able to sign into Backup and Sync to continue syncing with Drive and or Google Photos. Users will need to transition to Drive for Desktop. What it means to sync files and how it works. You can use Drive for Desktop to keep your files in sync between the cloud and your computer. Syncing is the process of downloading files from the cloud and uploading files from your computer's hard drive. After syncing, the files on your computer match the files in the cloud. If you edit, delete, or move a file in one location, the same change happens on the other location. That way, your files are always up to date and can be accessed from any device. What it means to mirror or stream your files. With Drive for Desktop, you can access files stored in Google Drive from your computer. Any changes you make to your files will be synced. All files in shared drives, USBs, and other computers will be streamed from the cloud to your computer. You can choose to mirror or stream your My Drive files. In Drive for Desktop, you can choose to stream or mirror My Drive files, as I just said. Your files are found in different places on your computer based on whether you choose to mirror or stream them. When you mirror files, all of My Drive files are stored in the cloud and on your computer, which takes up hard drive space. All your files will be accessible at any time, even when you don't have an internet connection or the Drive for Desktop app running. Files can be accessed through a folder on your computer. When you stream files, your My Drive files are stored in the cloud. Hard drive space is only used when you open files and make them available offline. Files that are not available offline can be only accessed when you're connected to the Internet. All files, including those available offline, can be accessed only when the app is running. Files can be accessed through a mounted drive on your computer. Google Drive for Desktop App. Four reasons why you should install it. Once installed, the Google Drive for Desktop app delivers four key features for people who use Windows or Mac OS devices. First, it lets you access Google Drive from your local system, i.e. either Apple's Finder on Mac OS or Microsoft's File Explorer on Windows, without the need to open a web browser. Second, it allows you to select and sync files and folders between your device and Google Drive. Third, Drive for Desktop also offers the ability to backup photos, including screenshots and raw photos, to Google Photos. Fourth, you may now sign into as many as four different Google accounts at once, which gives you access to files and distinct configuration options for each account. 
known issues. You can't currently duplicate Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides. Drive for Desktop currently doesn't support ARM-based Windows laptops and tablets, including the Microsoft Surface Pro X. Drive for Desktop is currently not compatible with Digital Guardian software. Antivirus software. Certain virus detection and security software can interfere with the operation of Drive for Desktop. Syncing a folder with both Google Drive for Desktop and another syncing service may cause files to fail to sync with Google Drive or to be removed from Google Drive entirely. Pop-ups. Some users on Drive for Desktop version 41 and prior may report seeing repeated pop-ups to sign in. To access it, it is an icon in your tray. If you right mouse click it, you get some preferences, an error list, you can pause the syncing, and there's some other information or you can quit. Here are your preferences on Google Drive. Uh, you can set it up my drive syncing options stream, uses less hard drive space, use only hard drive space when you open files or make files available offline. That's how I have it set up for stream files. I store all my, fi my drive files in the cloud only. And then I choose specific files and folders to make them available offline. And if, you, if I decided I would rather mirror the files, I would store all my drive files in the cloud and on my computer. And all files are automatically available offline. Here's what it looks like on my computer. Google Drive is set up as a Google Drive G. When I open the Drive G, it shows my drive. And when I double click on my drive, I get all of my folders. And you'll notice there's a little cloud next to them, meaning that it's out in the cloud, not local. So let's get to a demo. I have opened up this PC so you can see all of the drives that I have on the system. Currently, we have a local drive C. We have an SD card in my computer, which is drive D. I've added a USB stick and it designated it as drive E. And then by default, when I installed drive for Windows, it created a Google Drive and gave it the letter G for Google, which is a good idea. And it fills in the drive letters before it. And if I added more drives, they would come after the letter G. And I believe you can change easily the drive letter for Google Drive if you needed to. So you can see here, all of my drive items are here. My OneDrive, let's make that a little bit smaller. So you can see everything. First, we've got our quick access, and I do have Google Drive on the quick access, so it goes to the top. It's also down here, same, same drive, and you can see the other drives that are here as well. If we double click on it, it'll open up the Google Drive, and it holds my drive. And if I double click my drive, it shows me all of the folders that are on my drive. And you'll notice that there are little clouds on each of the folders, meaning that it is only in the cloud. It is not on my local machine. We're going to open a second instance of this PC, and you'll see that it was just like this one was before we went down to the letter G and then my drive and then the folders in my drive. Now on the right, what I'd like to do is open up my USB stick. So I am going to go to a folder to show you how easily you can move a folder or groups of files and folders. Let's take the views and reviews folder and I am just going to drag it from one side to the other. Now remember the default when you're going from one drive to another drive is you're copying the files. If you click and drag on the same drive, you actually move them. You can right mouse click and choose. And I'm going to do that just so you can see how you do that. I'm going to right mouse click and I'm going to drag that over here and I'm going to let go. 
and you will see it says copy here in bold that means that's the default i could move it here i could create a shortcut or i could just cancel i like to when i either copy or move something i do like to right mouse click and drag it in case i put it in the wrong spot i can cancel it but in this case we're going to tell it to go ahead and copy it and now watch You can see this taking some time. It's a total of 185 items. It's moving it from my drive to my USB stick, which is the drive E. It's created the folder now. It's 51% complete. You're seeing this real time. I didn't want to speed it up. I want you to have an idea. And we're going to look at the size of that folder when we're done. I'm going to show you how to do that. And it's complete. Now I have a very fast computer, so it might not be that fast on your computer. Now, just for the sake of things, let's go ahead. Uh, if I right mouse click and then go down to properties, it's a total of 20 size on the disk. It's tw over 20 megabytes. It's 163 files in 21 folders. I cancel this, so we see. Now, if I double click on views and reviews i've got a few folders and i got a whole bunch of files if i then click on here i've got subfolders and if i click on another one i've got yet another subfolder so we can move up we can move up and so again we've got three folders we've got a whole bunch of files here when i say a whole bunch of files we've got a whole bunch of files i have now copied those files over to my usb stick which i can then eject and I can put it on any computer or I can carry it with me. And that's what uh, Chris and Edith were trying to do. And I tried to help them earlier with an earlier video, but it looks like it's a lot easier now using Drive for Windows. It just, you can pick and choose whatever you want. So if I just want to add one file to this, let's say, uh, let's move up one level. And let's say we just want to take one file here so let's take, go to a background here. This is the background I use on my Chromebook. I am going to click and drag it over here. It copies it and it's there. So I can move one file. I can move a whole folder with subfolders and sub subfolders and files in, within it very easily using Drive for Windows. When I was putting this presentation together, someone asked about Drive for Windows and Google Photos. So let's talk about that. How about adding photos and videos from Google Drive to Google Photos? To organize your photos and videos across services, you can add photos from Google Drive to Google Photos. But before you get started, the photo must be larger than 256 pixels. The file type must be a JPEG, a GIF, a WEBP, a TIFF, or a .raw. If you use a Google account through your work or school, you'll have to download from Google Drive and re-upload to Google Photos. This also is true in my case, where my Google Drive that I use for most of my files is a different account than my Google Photos. So in, in those cases, you have to download from Google Drive, then re-upload to Google Photos. However, to add photos and videos from Google Drive to Google Photos on your computer, you go to photos.google.com. I'm going to demonstrate this when I finish these couple of slides. At the top right, click Upload and then Google Drive. Find and select your photos and click Upload. Check your storage. Your photos and videos are stored using your Google account's storage space. Items copied from Google Drive to Google Photos are backed up based on your upload size. If you copy an item from Google Drive to Google Photos, the new copy in Google Photos will also count against your storage. Learn how to change your upload size. So what happens when you change or delete a photo? Any changes you make in Drive will only apply to 
drive. Any changes you make in photos will only apply to photos. Let's do a demo. Next, what we're going to do is add a some photos from Google Drive to Google Photos. We've opened up photos.google.com, so we're in our Google Photos website. If you'll notice over here on the right, you go to Upload. You click it, and you have the choice of either a computer or Google Drive. We're going to choose Google Drive. It shows the recent files, but we want to go to My Drive. And in My Drive, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Photos. And I've got a folder with some photos I want to upload, and that's here. I have three photos, so I will highlight all three of them. Come down here and click Upload. It's uploading all three. It's now put them on our Google Photos. It has today's date but it has all three of those photos, and they're there. And that's how easy it is now to upload from Google Drive to your Google Photos. You do have those photos saved on your Google Photos. This has been Google's helpful Drive for Desktop, which is new in July of 2021. I'm Huey Poplock. Thank you.